I believe that the ultimate prosperity demonstration in your life is when you have enough so that you're satisfied, so that it's not an overwhelming thing in your life, so that you can get beyond the money issue and focus on some of the really important things that lead to your happiness. Henry David Thoreau said, the man is rich whose pleasures are the cheapest. I agree. In Proverbs 11:28, it says, trust in your money and down you go. But the godly flourish like leaves in the spring. Now we're not saying money is bad. Money's great. But the love of money, the absolute obsession with money, that's what will bring you down. From time to time, most of us struggle with that thing called money. Both how to get it and then how to spend it. Sometimes our financial struggles are simply manifestations of an inner conflict that seems hidden when we stray away from God's plan. But it seems hidden, but it always manifests out into our life, doesn't it? God doesn't intend for us to keep acquiring more and more stuff like an addiction. Instead, God teaches us to be level-headed, satisfied, moderate, thoughtful about the way that we spend money that God entrusts into our care. Today, promise that you'll do whatever it takes to finally make a a sensible financial plan and stick to it and be happy within it and know that your money is coming from God and where it's going and you'll become comfortable with your finances. You'll become more comfortable also with every other aspect of your life. Now I pray with you. God, I ask you to be my money manager. I ask you to take over my finances, to handle my money, to handle my desires for more and more and more. I pray that I become a person that is satisfied, that's happy, that is content. And I pray that as I have this, that I also have every other thing because I place you first in my life and you provide. You are the source of everything, including my money. I know this. And the longer I live, the more certain I am of that knowing. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray and give thanks. Amen.